Hello guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a little different. I decided I wanted to make a tier list for idle and clicker games. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn on those notifications for future live streams and videos. And if you want to support CryptoGrounds, make sure you check out the Patreon. Links in the description below. Patreon.com slash CryptoGrounds. Anyways, let's just hop right into the video. So I have chose 39 random games, and <laughs> you can see there's quite a bit of uh, variety here. I kind of just chose some random ones and some ones that I've played a lot, and I'm sure some of you guys will be familiar with all of these. But basically, I'm going to go through all of them. I'm going to give a really quick explanation, and I'm going to list them. So I'm going to start from the bottom here and then work my way to the last, okay? So let's start with Wizard and Minion Idol. All right, so I've played this one. I don't have too much time on it. If I go to Steam and I look for Wizard Minion Idol, yeah, I mean, I ha I only have 939 hours, but um, honestly, the progression in this game is pretty good. I would say I I would say this is an A tier, maybe a B. I would say a high B tier. The reason is because it's it just reminds me of NGU, and honestly, I'm not a fan of the art style of the game, and. Uh, it's it's again it's revolved around complex challenges and just having to restart slow progression. It's kind of like idling to rule the god as well, where you got to do all those really annoying challenges to restart all of your progress. So that's the reason why I'm gonna give this a high B. Vlogger go viral. This is a mobile game. I'm just gonna throw this right into the S tier. Okay, no, for real. I'm gonna give this a D tier. I really hated this game, it, um, but for graphics, I'll I'll give it a D. If it, if it had crappy graphics, I'll give it an F. Anti-matter dimensions, uh, immediate S tier. I don't even need to explain that. Trimps. Okay, so Trimps was a bit too too active for me, but I really liked how this game laid out, and I wish I play. I wish I could really get further into this game. And I know lots of people love this game, so I'm gonna give this one A tier just because of how uh, in depth this game is and how much I really wish I can go further, but it's just too active for me. Time Warpers. So this one is a paid game. So the, all the other ones I've explained in the past are free, but t uh, Time Warpers is, I think it's $20, 20 something dollars. Yes, it is $20 on Steam. So the graphics are amazing in this game. I really loved how different this game was and how you literally just turned an FPS into a uh, an idle game, an idle clicker game. I think it was a really cool concept. However, twenty dollars is a bit too much, I think, for what it is, because it's basically playing time clickers, but with a little slight different of content, and of course, you're playing in a FPS style. So I'd give this one a B tier. Now, time clickers is the same thing as it's kind of similar to time warpers, except it's it's free. So and it's two. It's not like FPS, obviously, but it's got a similar format. Uh, the upgrades are a bit different in both, though, so I'm going to give this one a higher B as well. Tap Tycoon, I don't know. It's generic, so I'm just going to give this one a, a C tier. Swarm Simulator. Okay, so the graphics in this game are also really good, and this is Swarm Simulator Evolution. If you played the original one where it does, it's not very graphical, it's the same game, same math, except Swarm, Swarm Sim uh, Evolution is just more graphics. And pay to win, I believe, last time I played. Um, I really despise how the progression in this game works because basically you gotta do some things to get the mutagen or to get lots of mutagen. And if you don't, then you're kind of screwed. So I really did not like how this game was presented. So I'm gonna give this one a, a high C tier. Space plan. Okay, so this one also costs money. Yeah, so yeah, this one costs money. And I really highly suggest you guys check this one out. It's cheap, but. It's cheap, and then yes, it does cost money, but the aesthetic in this game is unbelievable. So I'm going to give this one an A tier, just because of how amazing the the experience is, the story is, the aesthetics of this game is. And it's just a very satisfying experience. So to Dungeon 2. Okay, so the graphics of this game is very nice, and the sound and the sounds and everything is also very good. However, the, the gameplay is very bland. So you'll see a lot of reviews on Steam on how the game plan for the gameplay for Soda Dungeon 2 is very bland, and they're correct. It's it's just not nothing unique, right? It's just really cool graphics, so I'm going to give this one a C tier. All right, so Realm Grinder. So this one is a bit iffy for me. Some people really love this game, and they've gone hardcore on this game, and others just don't like it, and that's that's I'm one of them. I don't really like how I'm looking at a guide constantly to know which realm I'm... Faction, right, faction. What is factions to be in... 
honestly, I just didn't like that. Although, I'm sure some people who are into that kind of stuff would really like that. I'm personally just not a fan of following uh, massive guides anymore. They're just not fun for me. I like to explore and figure things out on my own. So, I'm going to give uh, Realm Grinder a C tier. I'm going to give this one a higher than a Soda Dungeon 2. Pincremental. So, Pincremental is a pretty uh, pretty cool one as well. But, however, it gets a little repetitive and annoying when you got to prestige and do all the same stuff over and over again because it's basically it has multiple layers of prestige but however it's the same thing over and over again rebuying those upgrades and honestly i it's it's not for me but i'm gonna give this one a low b ordinal markup so oh man uh i'm gonna give this one a c i'm sorry i don't like this game at all i barely got far into this one and it's just not fun ngu idol okay so this is a pretty easy S tier, okay? I We all love uh, 4G and the NGU game, and I personally got to Evil. I'm like I'm midway through Evil, and I just stopped just because I really don't have much time to play a kind of a grindy game, but there's so much to do in this game, and I really love the progression in this game, and Antimatter Dimensions and NGU so far in the S tier are like the only two major ones that have given me a tons of inspiration for Crypto Cliggers and other stuff too. So I really love the dev for this game and I just love the community in general for both of these games. And I really like how NGU just unfolds and how everything kind of just goes together. So I'm going to give this one an S tier. All right, NG++, uh, NG plus three. Okay, so <sighs> I don't know. I, I'm not a fan of Antimatter Dimensions clones anymore. I, I, I don't know. I liked NG plus three until Basonic Lab. Actually, um, a little bit after that. But its recent update it is horrible. I hated it. Um, it made me not want to play. And whenever you play NG plus three, you'll either run into a bug or, where you just can't progress. Or you'll forget one upgrade and you forgot that just um, exists in no man's land. And you're just like, oh, I'm stupid. I, I totally forgot to check there. And I don't like that. It, I feel like there's a lot of just surprise things that happens. And you're just not sure why. I'm going to give NG plus 3 a D tier. I know Eryx works very hard on this game. And I know it's a. I know it's not easy to make. And I know this game is a very complex. It's just the way it unfolds. The way everything works. It's just too much to look at. And I don't know. I don't like it anymore. And I'm just going to give it a D tier. I although I would say it's very close to where I'd rank it for ordinal markup. Actually, this one should be a little higher than Tap Tycoon. That'd be a little silly. Crypto Clickers F tier. All right, Melvor Idol. I just recently got back into this one again, and I'm enjoying it so far. So I'm gonna give this one a B tier, or a higher B tier. I would say higher than Wizard and Minion Idol. I just like the progression. I like how you don't really have to do too much. You can just sit on one like wood cutting or mining or smithing and you can just let it go for a while so i think that's a really nice progression all right make it rain i think we've all played this one i'm gonna give this one an f tier just because anyone can make it and it's just stupidly boring though it is one of my first idle games i or idle clicker games i've gotten to all right incremental adventure so this one's a a new one a newer one on steam i really enjoyed it and congrats to the dev for getting one of the um top free releases i think it was an oct August or September, one of those months, but congrats to him. I'm going to give this one a B tier. I really liked how... Okay, so I'm going to give this one lower than Malvor. So the one of his recent updates... Or not recent, it was kind of quite a bit ago, but he added an auto setting where it makes auto prestige much better, and I really like that, and that's the reason why I'm putting this at a high B, just because the progression is so much better with it, and without it, I, I would say a lower B. But I like it, so I'm going to put it at... Add an uh, a mid B. All right, I don't impulse incremental, S tier. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what am I doing? Idle idle game dev. So this one I got pretty far into, and I really like the concept of it. So I'm gonna give it um a B as well, lower than incremental adventures. So idling to the god is kind of what I was talking about earlier with wizard minion idol. There's lots of challenges to do, and lots of the challenges are just absolutely painful to do, and it, I, I have lots of hours in this game, and I just can't really just stand doing them. Let's see how many hours I have. 2,400 hours. I just can't stand doing the challenges. So, <clears throat> But otherwise, I think the rest of the game is really good. has got um, nice music in it, and I'm not a fan of the visual stuff, like the anime art. I'm just not a fan, I'm just not a fan of that, but 
It may offend some people. Some people may love it. So uh, it depends on your preference. But I don't really care. I just I'm, I just play for the game, even though it's not my type of art style, obviously. So I'm gonna give this one a B, higher than Wizard Minion Idol. Idol Slayer is a really cool one as well. It's very basic. I love having it on my phone because it's just a very simplistic game, which I can just turn on my phone, do some stuff, and then put it away, and then I'll come back and have some progression. So I'm going to give this one a higher B as well, just because it's really good for a mobile game, in my opinion. However, I don't think it's better than Melvor Idol, because that's also on your mobile as well, and I think it's a really good uh, mobile game so far. Idol Heroes, F tier. <laughs> Nobody need to explain what that is. <laughs> if you don't know what that is... Um, you don't want to. You don't want to. Idol Miner Tycoon. Okay, so this is definitely one of the first ones I've gotten to. I've played since when it was a very early release, and it's definitely grown. However, I think it's more pay to win than it ever than it ever has been, and it's really generic because there's lots of clones and stuff. So I'm gonna give this one's a C tier. And also, it's a lot of managing when it comes to the higher mines, and I'm just, I don't know. I just don't like it as much as I used to. Idol Expanse. Okay, so the graphics in this game are really cool. But the content sucks. Okay, the gameplay the gameplay in this game is absolute trash. Okay, so this is an F tier for me, but I'll give this higher than Make It Rain. It it it's just not fun at all. It's very generic, but I they could have made it so much better. They could have made it a lot better than what it actually is. Idol Bouncer. So uh, this one's also a fun one to do, but I, I didn't get too far just because I just kind of got stuck at a wall and I wasn't really sure what to do at that point since the game's kind of dead and. Yeah, there's no one really to talk to to help me out or anything, so I'm going to give this one a high C. Idle Scaling. This is an immediate S tier. This is probably my all-time favorite mobile game ever. I haven't played it in so long, but it is such an amazing game with amazing graphics. It may be too much resource management for some people, but for me, it's a perfect balance, and... I'm really just stuck at Teehee 1, so I'm kind of just patiently waiting for another update. And I'm an iOS user, so i got to wait even longer. But otherwise, this is an amazing game with amazing pixel art and an amazing dev. So I'm, this is an immediate S tier for me. Alright, Idle Scratcher. So this is kind of like Pincremental, so it's it's got the same concept, just a different method of it. Um, it's, it's scratching a ticket instead of playing pinball. So I'm going to give this the same rating, just because it's, it's very similar. Guild Quest. Okay, so this one also could have been good. Um, I think it was made by the same developers of Adventure Capitalists. <sighs> I don't know. I really like the, the the aesthetics of this game. Um, but the content is kind of bland as well. It's very repetitive. So I'm going to give this one a, a high C. Distance Incremental. This one's a really good one as well. I really like the... the I really like the content of this one as well. However, I got stuck towards the end. Um towards theories and that got that really threw me off i, I it's just, again the upgrade tree was just too much for me and i always felt like i was just switching between a hundred different trees just to, to get somewhere there was also a few bugs where you got to refresh it to actually progress and that was very annoying so for that reason i'm gonna give this an a cookie clicker i think we can all give this an s tier just because of its originality and it's um and how much of a classic this game actually is no need to explain otherwise because it's just such a classic we all love cookie clicker Cookie Collector, I think this one's also a really good mobile game in my opinion, and I haven't played this one forever, I think the last time I played it was when I had my iPad Mini 2, which was a few years ago, so I'm going to give this one a high B just because of the aesthetics and how much it really brought me into this community, and it got me into idle games. Click Ray 2, I, I honestly, this cost $10, uh, probably the worst $10 I've ever spent, I'm going to give this one F, probably higher than Idle Expanse though, but I don't know. I was very excited to play this game, but I was very disappointed when I was first told, you need to join a guild so you can actually progress faster, so you can catch up with everyone else. I'm like, so the point of the game is to catch up with everyone else, not for me to actually play the game? Yep. If you play the game by yourself, it'll take forever. It'll take months, maybe a year to catch up with everyone. That's so dumb. Why? I know the point of the game is supposed to be like multiplayer um, and stuff like that. That's just no fun. And there's like, last time I played, there was no tutorial. It was very hard to get into. And then I finally got hooked until I finally joined a guild. And pretty much people carried for me. And that was just not fun. Worst $10 I've ever spent. I do not. I w if you're thinking about buying this game, do not buy it. I'm sorry. It's just, no, just don't buy it. There's so many other games out there you can buy for $10. Clicker Hero. So now this is also going to be like a high A tier because of its um, originality and uh, how much 
I've really enjoyed this game and how they also brought me into this idle game space. All right, Adventure Communist. This one is such pay to win, so I, I got to give this a C. I'm going to give it a higher than uh, Soda Dungeons, but I don't know. I really like how this game um, played out, but it was so annoying to rank up every single day and have to do the same thing over and over and over again. It's just extremely repetitive and it's just a money it's just a money fest for them in all honesty. Same thing goes for Adventure Capitalist. I mean, it, the game is a lot faster than what it used to be, but I don't know. The game isn't unique anymore. They don't decide they all they care about is events now and it's just very boring cuz I've completed the game by now and I don't know. I want something new. So I'm going to give this one a C tier as well. All right, Synergism. So this one is also one of my favorites, so I'm going to give this one an S tier. And I really have enjoyed this uh, latest update. I am almost, I think I'm almost there to challenge 15. I have a few completions to challenge 14. So I'm, I've definitely say I've played the entire game at this point. So I'd give this an S tier just because I really like the developer. He's friendly and the game's amazing. And Idle Research, also F tier. <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> okay, all jokes aside, this is what my tier list looks like here. It's all the S tiers, and obviously I'm just putting my three games up top because it's my games. Why would I call my games bad? Well, I mean, okay, Idle Impulse is an F. Let's be real here. It's terrible. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the... 39 or my 39 idle game tier list i know I, there's a lot of games i didn't put in here and this could easily be expanded so if you have your other opinions or if you want to uh, try this tier list out yourself i'll put the link in the description below and if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash the like button for the youtube algorithm check out my patreon if you want to support me patreon.com slash crypto grounds and subscribe to my channel if you're new turn on those notifications for future live streams and videos anyways thank you guys for watching have a great day and night i'll see you in the next one peace